the uh, European society should learn from the rest of the world that the world is very diverse and there are uh, the whole range of a uh, multitude of different approaches to what is modernity and post modernity and not necessarily people in the, world, in the rest of the world share the same views on what is civil society democracy um, you know human rights and everything which is typical of Europe may not be the same in the rest of the world and it's very difficult to uh, to understand, to grasp by all the power of your mind that people uh, elsewhere in the world are not the same as you are. And this is uh, probably one of the most important things for a sociologist, in, in my opinion, to, to learn uh, not to impose on your own ideology of views on other people and to be open to all the diversity of other, other uh, points of view in, of uh, different people. So, in other words, the, word, uh, the rest of the world is not necessarily the same as the European world, right? This is one of the main things which I think the European society should learn. On the other hand, and I should be very honest about this, the Europeans, uh, the West Europeans, should uh, be very strong in defending their own view of, of what, what the world is. So, in other words, you, you should learn other people, people's views, other uh, ethnic uh, groups, ideologies and cultures and everything. But on the other hand, you should not compromise on your own principles. And this is, uh, there is no contradiction in what I'm saying. If you are very uh, confident in your own uh, way of living, understanding of the world, you should negotiate with other people uh, something, joint projects, interaction, international relations and, every, and stuff like that. You should negotiate, talk, discuss, find the uh, uh, common uh, ground for, uh, for doing projects without uh, compromising and, uh, uh, without compro and but without any kind of intellectual dictatorship or uh, you should not impose your own self on other nations. Yeah, this is the dialectics. This is dialectics. This is the art and science of uh, international culture, the dialogue of civilizations in the world today. Those of us who can succeed in this dialogue will succeed in, in their own fields of expertise, I think. Um, that's, that's what I think. And this is what is Europe. The more tolerant, the more firm on what uh, it is, and at the same time tolerant to other people, no, this is what Europe is. Uh, in order to avoid all terrible things like, uh, you know, terrorism, national clashes, international conflicts, Europe should be both tolerant and firm. Firm and tolerant. That's it.